Comics Plus, what's going on? Akasan here. Uh, honest Trailers, Guardians of the Galaxy. I know you guys really want me to always watch the um, pitch meetings, but I've never really uh, liked them. Like, it's just not for me. But we got this Honest Trailers. So let's see what Screen junkie Junkies has in store. Here we go. What? I said, here we go. Lagging. <laughs> Muggle. Muggle. In 2018, James Gunn got fired when his original concept for Groot was revealed. Now, Marvel's come crawling back for one last job, and Gunn has delivered a masterpiece, at least compared to their other crap. Yeah. I'm gonna need to take some time. Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Yeah, bye. The Guardians are back. And since you probably missed the Christmas special, here's huh. a quick recap. Quill and Mantis are siblings. He's your brother. It doesn't matter. He still doesn't listen to me. Groot is starting to branch out. Drax is still Drax. He'll know people. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. Newcomer Adam Warlock is also Drax. I said show him we mean business! What more business could we have shown him? Gamora's from an alternate timeline <laughs> where she ran out of shampoo. Nebula. Wow! <laughs> That's funny. Knock it off! What? And Rocket Raccoon is a valuable piece of IP that Space Disney will kill to get back. There's no escape, little guy. We own you forever. Ho -ho. Speaking of Disney, Cower in Fear from Orgo Corp, a different child imprisoning corporation. Jip, jip. And meet the perceived. I just realized that uh, the Honest Trailers might have to go on hold because John Bailey, um, the guy doing the narrations, he's on strike right now, as far as I know. I don't think he's working at all right now. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. Yo, the high evolutionary. He set out to play God. There is no God! That's why I stepped in! But we'll settle for playing Pokemon. <laughs> Evolution. Ah. Yes, he's another evil purple guy. Oh, wow. But in a Marvel first, he'll teach us that science should only be used to keep the status quo. You didn't want to make things perfect. You just hated things the way they are. And when you think about it, that's the lesson Tony Stark taught us too. And Emil Blonsky. And Andre Killian. And Maya Hansen. And Darren Cross. And Fastos. And Riri Williams. And Cassie Lang. And... Prepare for a Rocket Raccoon origin story full of laughs. It's good to have friends. Tears. That was a good line. Thrills. Yeah. <laughs> Tears. <laughs> Tears. They want to kill us all in the morning. <gasps> Tears. <laughs> Somebody said that Zack Snyder was the blueprint for this scene of a man of steel. I'm like, all right. But I actually laughed at. I actually laughed at the scene. I shouldn't have laughed, but I did. All right. Tears. Ah! And tears. Tears. Fuck. Yeah, he's okay. In this feature length Sarah McLaughlin commercial for a story <laughs> that wholehearted support for animal rights, as long as they're cute. <laughs> Ever feel a little sad for them? Yeah, sure. So prepare for the MCU movie that you were convinced would kill off your face. True. Ugh. Didn't do that at all. I'm okay. And still managed to be a total downer. What's even the point of being born? Because quip all you want, but on a long enough timeline, everyone goes past their prime. You keep your grimy raccoon hands off my shoes. Music gets progressively worse. Britney Spears and corn. Good choice. <laughs> hey, hey, shut up! I like battles, corn. Everyone you know someday will die. Forget. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. No. Look at all the gear. 
Sadly Cooper. Sadly Gamora Cooper. Gamora the Explorer. Big blue beetle Borg. Later. <laughs> parenting for dummies. Wow. Palm Toretto. Oh, wow. He's a decent villain, more or less. Eyebrows kid. I know. Eyebrows man. Paw Patrol. Whistling dick, see? You're a bad dog. Hawkeye's wife? Is that you? Judy Greer. No, seriously. Look it up. And remember, Ralph, he's back. In note form. Close encounters for a third time. Okay, how does Groot's language work exactly? Do characters just suddenly understand him once they become basically a family? Yep. I love you guys. Oof. Regardless, he definitely says D him off right here. Mantis, why don't you just touch him and you know make him happy? I am Groot. Gross. No, not like that. Don't adjust your timelines. We track all the dead wives, Michael Caines, and more across Christopher Nolan's whole filmography. Wow. In a brand new episode of By the Numbers. Click the box on the right to watch now. All right. Uh, That's it. All right. There you go. Yes, that was in the most recent movie. That was Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Volume 3. Oh, uh, yeah. I liked it, man. I, I thought it was good. I thought, like, by far, the best one of the best Marvel movies of their, uh, well, the phase just kind of started, right? Phase five just started. So yeah. Um, this was one good honest trailer. Yeah. It was pretty damn decent. It's really hard for honest trailers to go balls to the walls. Like, like, uh, roasting a movie if the movie is good. Right. So then they have to try to find something else to sort of, pick apart or whatever but um and i think that's one of the things that people tend to um i guess that's one of the reasons why a lot of people make their way towards to uh towards um pitch meeting because pitch meeting goes back into that more cynical kind of tone that people like like uh, parroting but trying to make the it seem like the movie was bad um which uh, is, is very interesting when you kind of think about all that. So um, I guess we'll just wait for another DC movie. Wait for Blue Beetle. Then we'll see what the next uh, uh, Honest Trailers is going to be. But like I said, like I said, actually, man, everybody's going to be on strike, actually. All right, they're on strike right now, so we may not actually get much work in. Screen junkies would be in quite a particular situation. Like, they don't want to... I don't think they're going to be making uh, so much content or particularly honest trailers anytime soon uh, until the strike is resolved because uh, I don't think John is going to work for a while. But I don't know. I could be wrong. He did he, he did say that he will not be appearing at any comic cons or doing anything. So uh, my assumption is that he's not taking on new work even for screen junkies. But, you know, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what 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 where they go from here on out, depending on how long the I guess the next big thing would probably be the Spider Verse doing the Honest Trailer Spider Verse. Hmm. Hmm. The world may never know. Talk to you on the next one, guys. Peace.